What's so special about the internet now is really anything you want to do, you can learn. Like if you want to learn how to code, if you want to be a developer, you want to build software, you want to build apps, you can literally go on YouTube and learn how to code. And so what I would tell that person is, what do you want to do? Tell me anything. What do you want to do? Right now, there's resources and there's things online that can help you build yourself into whatever that is. You have like these brief moments of kind of peace until like the next accident happens, right? Um, and that's just life in general. You know, it's never gonna be complete smooth sailing. One of the things that I've noticed about a lot of people is that they let the hardships and the things that happen in their life failure stop them from, like Aaliyah said, you know, dust yourself off and try again, right? And for me, I've just never let anything or anybody prevent me from achieving what I want to achieve. And so I've always had this relentless mentality. And if you say I can't do something, if I fail, if I you know, mess up, it just motivates me even more. I just become even more hungry. And so I've always just had this, you know, relentless mentality. I don't take, you know, no for an answer. I don't take failure or accept failure at all. And it's just always been kind of in my heart to not give up. It's the roads that grew from concrete, right? It's like, no matter how terrible a situation is, no matter how bad it is, there's still gonna be a rose that grows from that concrete. And I feel like I was that, right? No matter what my situation was, I was built for this. I was not going to let myself fail, right? And I had that mentality. And I understand that now that I grew from that concrete, I'm starting to plant my seeds and there's more roses growing. Hi guys! If you still don't know our channel, we produce content about big companies, leaders, and entrepreneurship. If you enjoy our videos, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. It is very important for our team to continue producing quality content. I think a lot of people, they are ignorant, they are like rejecting change. Travel. Get out of your comfort zone. Meet people from all different types of backgrounds. If you want to build a product or service or company that you want to build at scale and your friends are only the homies that you've been hanging out with since, you know, middle school, probably should meet some more people. Get to know them. Travel the world. You know, and even if you don't have the resources to travel, the internet, learn about different cultures, learn about different people. You're at that computer, you tell me what you want to do. I tell you, this is how you search, this is, this is how you find those resources. Now you got to actually go and learn. You have to be able to show people that there's other options and that's what Spreading Seeds is all about. Showing people that they can actually do something different. I'm going to launch a much more successful business when I do launch it. And it's because I took the time to learn. And I just think that people are in such a rush to have something, especially money. Money is like, oh, I gotta get more money. But it's like, if you launch something that's piss poor, even at a point where I had accomplished so many things, I almost did it, right? We're not perfect. I'm not perfect. You know, I still fuck up all the time, man. Earlier today, like I was came here at the wrong time, right? So we we mess up constantly, but it's it's identifying that and saying, wait, let me take a step back and let me do this the right way. What's so special about the internet now is really anything you want to do, you can learn. Like if you want to learn how to code, if you want to be a developer, you want to build software, you want to build apps, you can literally go on YouTube and learn how to code. And so what I would tell that person is, what do you want to do? Tell me anything. What do you want to do? Right now, there's resources and there's things online that can help you build yourself into whatever that is. So I think that that kid at the end of the day, he has to have that kind of just, mm, I got to make this happen. Right. Here's the thing, no one can teach you that. At the end of the day, man, you really gotta want it. You gotta really want it. And I think the problem is, is now with social media before, when I was growing up, I didn't see all these examples of people having cool cars or doing cool all the time, like, right? And now with social media, I don't care if you're in like, you know, 
in the middle of nowhere, you can log on to Instagram and see just this whole world of experiences and things. The problem is, it's like, oh, well, these people have it, so I should be able to have it. And it's just like, man, you don't see the work that goes behind this, man. I started my first marketing job at 14. I'm 10 years into entrepreneurship. It wasn't until the past few years where I started really getting recognition for it, right? And so people don't see all that it takes to even get to that point and that's the problem and so they think it's supposed to be this this overnight thing goes oh i started llc give me money no that's not how it works remember we are also on instagram at thinkbigger.tv if you like this content you will probably like this video or this one